Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the Azures with eBay in 2023. So the Azures, of course, is a powerful tool that can enhance your dropshipping experience. And when integrated with eBay, it offers a seamless way to manage your orders and inventory. So in this guide, we'll walk you through the essential steps for a full tutorial on using the Azures with eBay. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and sign up and install the Deezers. Begin by signing up for an account, websites, and to do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use for. Or to follow this tutorial with, for me, it's going to be Brave, for you, it could be any other browsers. Go to this URL section, type Deezers.com, and hit the enter button. And this should take you like to their websites, their home screen or main screen websites right away. As you can see, so I'll just close this. And here we are. So, of course, as we said, we would like to create an account and log in into it. But before, make sure to scroll down and read more information about the websites. Just have a general idea on how it's working. It's very basic, as you can see, small sentences. So you'll basically see how it's what's about and see what's even people saying about us, as an example and learn more, can tax, as an example. And if you're interested to see the pricing, here is it. You can pause the video and check it all by your own with the features. So I'll just keep scrolling like slowly so you can pause the video and check it all. And now, if you have an account, go to the, at the top right corner and click on login. And if you don't have an account, click on try it for free now. So from now, just go and click on try to create an account. And of course here, we'll have to create an account with email and password. So, I'll just go and create and enter first of all my email, then my password. And I guess I'm not sure if it's the right one. I guess it's the right one. So let's just go and click on create an account. And of course, if you have an account, click on sign in and set and login into your account. As simple as that. So they're creating my account now. Click on save. And here we are. Now we'll have to go first of all and select your platform. So what platform do you want to access? So please follow the guide uh, below the link of your store. So if you want to connect it to Shopify, that's cool. If you want to connect it to Wix, that's cool. If you want to connect it to WooCommerce, that's cool. And CSV file, if you have like, uh, they can authorize a CSV file store, if you have one, I don't know. So as an example, I'll just choose here Shopify or I don't know, yeah. And click on install, as simple as that. So they will load, as you can see. So they'll take me here. Deserves AliExpress, dropshipping. So click on and sell the app. Of course, before, make sure to read the features that comes with it so you can understand what this app does. So optimize your suppliers, find cheaper and better suppliers, sell in the same products, uh, products management, find imports and edit products, auto updates, stock and prices, and bulk orders place 100 uh, off products, of course, with one click in a few seconds, and automation. Automatically track orders and package status and manage multiply multiple sorry and Shopify stores in one account. So they have plans for this as you saw before. But this is if you want to connect it like to Shopify. And here as you can see, the even the average like rating is five stars. Like I've I can say that I've never seen this before. Five stars average. Because as you can see, the five stars is dominating over the others. So it seems like a very, very good like app for Shopify or very uh, like uh, good websites which is desserts so click on a sell app as an example so of course this is not eBay I'm just like showing you first of all how uh, because they ask us to connect to a store so basically just go here are you sure you want to, to use the currently yes confirm and yeah here we are so good to go I'll just choose the basic plan which is the free one for you. You can choose another store if you want to, and you will have to link to your suppliers, which is this uh, step three. Of course, if you're not familiar with dropshipping uh, or AliExpress dropshipping, don't you'll have to click on it uh, here. If you don't have an AliExpress account, click on here, and if you have, just click on AliExpress, and this will log you right away into AliExpress. So let's just close this. We don't need it anymore. And simply, just as you can see, you'll have to agree uh, to the authorization terms and agreement. Once you agree, click on authorize and you basically, so as you can see, you'll have to read this, click on authorize and you'll be basically good to go. So must read, just of course, I'm in, 
or let's just even close this. So must read. Okay. Okay, like must read new CPV regulation in Brazil to comply with Brazilian regulation, all orders shipped to Brazil will now be subject to CPF and recipient name checks. Ensure your buyers provide like accurate CPF details to prevent shipping issues. Thank you for uh, diligence. So you can know more from here, read more information about us. And if you know, you know now. Now here we have, here we are, we have our account. Now we basically have to like use it with eBay. We connect it to our Shopify, we connect it to our AliExpress, but we did not connect it yet to our eBay because we wanted to use it for our eBay, right? Of course, you can go, first of all, open like an eBay, uh, your eBay account, first of all. So just log in into your eBay uh, account if you have one. And if you don't, you will have to go and create a new one. So for me, as you can see, I'm already connected to it. Click on account settings. So for me, I guess I'm even banned on eBay or some problems so let's not get through that but of course for you just go and uh, log in at your account if you're logged in that will be great so as you can see here if we go to this list panel as example and click on find suppliers this will just look on suppliers on aliexpress if you want to add a platform as you can see we find like here just aliexpress installed and go an example here to settings as you can see basically have here like we can search as example for ebay here and see if we find it so there's nothing so what can we do of course if you look of course to add a like uh, any other platform you will not be able to so you'll find just aliexpress here so what you can do is simply go and connect your store or you go connect it to deezers connect it to shopify it's shopify Will help us connect eBay to Deezers. So once you connect it to Shopify, for me, uh, once I was creating my account, I connected to Shopify as an example, and I'll be able to push everything to store here. What we'll have to do, of course, open Shopify, click on login, and go to App Store Shopify. So go to the list panel, apps, uh, all recommended apps, Shopify App Store. Here we'll basically have to type eBay integrations, and we'll find like the CAD Commerce eBay integration. Just go and install this app because this app will let you manage eBay listings and basically will connect Shopify to eBay. And this connection, because we have Shopify connected to Deezers, that means eBay will be connected to Deezers because there is no other way other than this. So just go and click on install app. It will basically be the same like while, while, how we when we were connecting like eBay to this. And once it's connected, as you can see, you will have to finish those steps as example. So just go and check those options and finish those steps. Once you finish, of course, once you finish all your information, eBay will be connected. So I'll not do all of that. And once eBay is connected, these are connected to Shopify, Shopify connected to eBay, and you'll be able now to push orders from uh, these are to Shopify and push orders from Shopify to e eBay or the opposite way from eBay to Shopify and Shopify to these are, and you'll be good to go. So that's going to be it for me today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.